What is vitamin D? It is a group of fat-soluble secosteroids. Vitamin D in humans is unique because it can be taken as cholecalciferol, vitamin D3, or ergocalciferol, vitamin D2, and because the body can also make it, from cholesterol, with adequate exposure to sunlight, hence the nickname sunshine vitamin. Although vitamin D is called a vitamin, it is not an essential dietary vitamin in the strict sense, as it can be synthesized in sufficient amounts by sunlight in all mammals. It is considered an organic chemical compound, or a group of related compounds, and is called a vitamin in scientific terms only when it cannot be synthesized in sufficient quantities by an organism, and in this case, must be obtained from the diet. As with other compounds called vitamins, vitamin D was discovered in an attempt to obtain a nutrient that was absent from diseases such as rickets. In addition, like other vitamins, in the modern world, vitamin D is added to basic foodstuffs, such as milk to avoid diseases resulting from its deficiency. Measurements of blood levels reflect the subjective composition from exposure to sunlight as well as food intake, and it is believed that this composition may help maintain adequate serum concentrations. Evidence suggests that vitamin D synthesis from sun exposure acts in a feedback loop preventing toxicity, but due to uncertainty about cancer risk from sunlight, no recommendations have been made by the Institute of Medicine in the USA for the amount of sun exposure needed to meet vitamin D needs. Accordingly, the reference to dietary amounts of vitamin D assumes that no formation occurs, and the vitamin present in a person is from the diet, despite its rare occurrence in practice. They are more susceptible to viral and bacterial diseases as their immune system is unable to confront viruses and bacteria efficiently. This often happens in the winter, when the weather tends to be cold and the sun's rays decrease, because vitamin D is formed when our skin is exposed to sunlight, so the cholesterol in the skin converts to vitamin D, but because the sun's rays are not enough in the winter, in order for the body to form an adequate amount of vitamin D that he needs and therefore it is recommended to take it in the form of food supplements. What is the recommended daily amount of vitamin D? 5000 IU is recommended for normal and 10,000 IU in case of any bacterial or viral infection. And for all what we mentioned above we strongly recommend taking vitamin D3 10,000 IU every day in the wintertime to strengthen the immune system which will make you even you got the virus more capable of contaminating it and it will not be dangerous for you. Thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.